We are just getting ready to leave Isola. Um, unfortunately, the weather hasn't improved overnight. So, looking out the window, this kind of view, basically, we haven't got any. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty wet out there. So, I think our plan is to drive down to the town, um, see what the situation is once we get down to the town, whether we can park up and have a look, or whether it's just too wet and we just decide. Um, let's get you know let's just have a look around with the car and um, then head on to Zagreb because I suppose the benefit is we could get to Zagreb a bit earlier and, and get ourselves set up in the apartment there which we've, we've got two nights so it's a shame you know it's just the way it is I mean it was absolutely hammering down last night it doesn't seem as bad as it was last night but but you know we've had a nice little like sleep and rest we've got up a bit Later this morning, we had some breakfast that we got from the Hoffer out there. Um, it's been pretty good, hasn't it? It's been yeah. a nice apartment, you know. We it was a bit cold last night, but we stupidly didn't turn on the air conditioning. Um, there is like a, an air conditioning unit there um, above there, so you could have we could have done it. We could have turned on all the heat in. It wasn't it wasn't desperately cold or anything, so. Uh, we were fine, weren't we? And obviously didn't get to use the nice looking balcony out there as well, which would have been quite cool. Um, yeah, I can imagine a nice sort of summer evening here in this apartment would be quite nice. Um, but unfortunately, it's just, we're traveling, you know, pretty much at the end of April. So, you know, it's hit or miss, isn't it? So we've been very lucky in previous trips where we haven't had much rain or any rain and sometimes we've had really hot weather when it hasn't really been the right time for hot weather um, so we've been pretty lucky you know so our luck had to run out one time <laughs> and that time is now uh, but yeah really good really good apartment really enjoyed it um, been really um, easy to to come and uh, you know get some rest but really big beds and um you know, nice sort of facilities here. The coffee machine was good, wasn't it? We had a coffee earlier. Emily slept in this room. Um, and yeah, so she slept in that bed with the sort of, don't know what that um, character is, <laughs> but some sort of uh, cartoon character or something there on the bed. Um, and she slept there. And um, yeah, so it's been pretty good, really. I mean, we can't complain about it and um so yeah really enjoyed it um well you know we, we, we've it's been really good you know to be able to sit down watch a bit of tv just have a bit of a relaxed time you know not having to even go out and find somewhere to eat because we knew we had to eat here kind of thing so um yeah it's been good for that and um now we're just sort of about time is it it's about quarter to ten and we've got checkout at 10 so basically we're going to start taking stuff down to the car now and hopefully it won't be too wet out there that we can just get things in and um then worry about the rest of it i guess when we get to zagreb hopefully it will have stopped raining although the forecast for there doesn't look much better than here unfortunately but we just got to sort of see what we get haven't we mm, yeah yeah but yeah you found all the facilities good have you rach yeah been all right, isn't it? Yeah, and having the good um, hair yeah, good hair dry, and having the hoffer right next to the place has just been really good, really. Yeah. So yeah, it's been really impressive. Emily, did you like it here? Emily, I did like it. You did like it. What did you like? Did you like the bed? I like. I didn't. I you, did like the. You did like the bed. Did you have a nice sleep? I did like the bed. Yeah, yeah. nice sleep, Chloe. You probably won't answer. I don't think. <laughs> No, that Chloe's starting to get interested in tablets no. now. Um, but anyway, yeah, so <laughs> I think we'll leave it there. We've got to get stuff down to the car. Um, anyway, so yeah, all good. Really like the apartment. Shame about the weather. Shame that we can't get to see Isla probably in a, in a nice way. But who knows? We might get down there and find that it's not that bad or it's very easy just to go and get something to eat or something who knows but the likelihood is we'll be driving down having a quick look and then moving on again i think um in the car so yeah we're off
okay we have decided to stop and park and uh, cars all set up uh, basically we're gonna gonna walk into Isla now it's a little bit cold and windy Emily you're walking into people she's a nightmare right anyway so yeah we're going to um, gonna just have a quick walk it's a bit bit nippy a bit sort of windy but let's you know but it's not actually raining at the moment so we're gonna have a quick look around I've got parking until about four o'clock which is crazy but, um, but hopefully that's enough time just check what it was yeah 3.43 today so you know it was like four, 24 hours is like four euros not too bad really right come on Emily let's go did we lock the door yet I have left the cameras up and stuff, I'm a bit nervous, there's bags on show and things, but it's pretty, you know, it's pretty quiet, I think, and, you know, it's quite light, so I doubt any will have any problem. We probably won't be that long anyway, probably just go and have a look down at the seafront and come back. It might rain, <laughs> might rain badly in a minute, so we might be back pretty quickly, so we got parking if we need it for until nearly four o'clock, which we don't really want to stay that late anyway. Uh, but it's such a shame, isn't it? Would have been really nice yeah. to have come here in the sun. I can nice. definitely see the waterfront looks really good. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go see if we can find the centre now. We found the sort of center area and um, there was just kind of cool little bandstand there shame it's raining we just took you know we took like kind of shots of things just because you know we're here we might as well do it you know I suppose it's like a bit like British weather really but yeah some really cool little cafes and um, places but obviously it started raining a little bit again now so it's not ideal um, I mean, this is only one stop on our trip, so that's not a, it may not be a dead loss for us. Hi. <laughs> Being friendly, friendly locals, or maybe they're traveling here as well, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we've lost Emily and Rachel. Oh, yeah, she's just covering Chloe up. So yeah, I mean, we're down at what's the sort of harbor front area. There's another load of parking there. Seems to be quite a lot of parking about. I mean, we found some that was just outside of the town, not very far walking, maybe five minutes walk. So you've got a nice like sort of walkway down there by the looks of it. I mean, shame it's raining, but it is what it is. Like I said, it's just a stop on our trip because we've got other places that we're going to. So hopefully we'll get luckier in those. Weather is looking good for Romania. Um, not so much for Zagreb, but you never know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I watched a few videos of this place and I can recognise, like, some of the places that I'm seeing. So, yeah, this little walkway area was an area that I saw on one of the videos. So, it was much sunnier than uh, now. Uh, but yeah, it's looking alright. We're just, you know, we're going to do a little bit of walking around and we're probably not really going to do anything else than that. I don't know if we'll try a cafe, maybe, maybe, not sure. Um, we're a bit nervous actually because we left everything in the car and think it was all a bit on show and we had the cameras still up and stuff because we weren't sure if we were just going to turn around straight away so hopefully we won't get robbed while we're, uh, while we're walking down here but I don't think we will, hopefully not yeah did have a sort of nice light t-shirt and uh, brought some lovely shorts for the uh, trip as well but um, unfortunately I'm still in the jeans it's not not uh, not quite the weather for short but yeah here we go I mean this is the marina area yeah, it looks all right I mean yeah, yeah, just the weather that's the only issue isn't it it's um, such a shame really what do you think not too bad is it yeah they're not pirate boats Emily well we don't know probably not Chloe's having a nice relaxing sleep but yeah, I don't know what we're going to do really, whether we just like quickly walk around this area and have a look. I, I think there was a bit of an old town with nice sort of back streets and stuff, but 
just don't know if we're going to be able to redo really that because it has started raining again and I don't know I mean in the distance over there it sort of kind of looks a bit like it could be sunnier over that way I mean I'm probably being a bit sort of optimistic but you can kind of see a break in the clouds over there so whether that comes across and maybe this weather is yeah I don't know where this weather's going but yeah might be that the rain goes that way and the sunniness comes over so who knows maybe we'll get really lucky and it'll be sunny because if it does I'll probably have to go back around and do all the little b-roll stuff that I just did of um, bandstands and stuff so I don't know really um, maybe ask Rach Rach what do you think do you think it's gonna it looks almost like there could be sunny cloudy over there doesn't it you know it looks like it could get better I mean yeah we de that yet. no definitely over there it looks like kind of yeah it looks like it could come over I don't know how fast it's moving um, but should we walk down this way for a second and then see what we can see but yeah yeah, it's a little bit of a shame but at the end of the day you know you, you, we've been so lucky over the years when we've done these videos we've we've never really had much rain we've only ever had kind of maybe cloudy weather so you know it's kind of yeah maybe it was just our turn to get a bit of bad luck and a bit of bad weather um so yeah that's what's happened <laughs> which is fine you know we, we we didn't even think we'd be out of the car today so we thought we'd just be driving straight to Zagreb so actually to be stood here and seeing some stuff is um is better than nothing really so yeah right anyway we're going to see if we can find some interesting spots and then get some uh, footage of it have found a little cafe um, which is on the corner of like the area where the waterfront is pretty nice and um, we're just gonna have a coffee and Emily's got some water and there she is she's got some water Chloe is just watching the world go by watching the cars yeah and actually it's sort of perked up a little bit isn't it it's got a little bit sunnier yeah just um I don't know if it'll last very long but that that cloud that we thought might come over sort of come over so hopefully you know maybe we'll get a little bit of sunny weather today I mean I don't think it'll be warm will it it's not like it's gonna warm up or anything Chloe you all right yeah <laughs> Chloe it's trying to get to the water probably but yeah Rachel's got like a black coffee I've got a cappuccino and um, yeah, it's all looking good. Pretty happy. Um, the guy spoke really good English, was really friendly. He even gave us like extra drinks that we didn't order like water and stuff. So, but yeah, so yeah, really nice, nice little view here as well. So you've got like the little sort of roundabout in the town centre there. I mean, it's a nice little small place, isn't it? Like it's not too big and you know it's not loads to cover so essentially you know you only need like a short amount of time to have a look around i think um from what i can tell i mean i think there's more other uh, more areas but the, the main sort of sea front area and the marina area is quite sort of small and not too big so it's nice for having little kids you can just kind of get around quite easy so but yeah we're going to um have this coffee and then let's see if um, 
it's dry out there and we can maybe get some more you know, get some more of the Isola before we have to head on to Zagreb. Still in Isola, we've left the cafe. Um, some really cool little back streets now, like down here, like a nice little cafe there. Um, we weren't sure where the back streets were, but it turns out they're just right next to the waterfront. So, you know, it's really good. And you've got like little sort of, little cobbledy sort of streets. I'm guessing it's sort of Italian architecture, is it? It's kind of Italian to me. Uh, but yeah, just like little back streets and, um, Anyway, we're going to walk down them and just have a look. I mean, shame that the sun did sort of come out for a few seconds. Didn't really last long enough for us to do anything with it. Couldn't really get any um, nice... Uh, yeah, it was still raining, really, when it was sunny. So so there's like a... Yes, yeah, so there's like a church here. Looks like a church to me. Or some sort of town hall. Something like that. Certainly a big building. Big, important building. And then... We just have a look down here. I'll just switch the camera around. Uh, yeah, there's some like kind of restaurants, pizzeria down there. Um, yeah, it's kind of a nice square. And this looks like one of the main buildings here, obviously. And it's got the uh, flag there. I think it's got the Italian flag and the Slovenian flag and the European Union flag. So there's obviously quite a big connection with Italy here. I've seen quite a lot of stuff like pizzerias and restaurants written in a sort of Italian style. So yeah, Emily's going crazy running about. They're just making their way and catching up. Oh, that's a nice building behind. It's like a nice sort of red building there, pinky red building. A couple actually, the one next there is pretty good as well. Yeah, it's a really nice little pretty place actually. I can imagine in the sun it would look really, really good. Another little, there's lots of lovely little back streets. I wonder if this is like where like the old, you know, this must be like the Italian old town, you know? I'm pretty sure we're right that it was part of Italy once. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's quite nice. Obviously it's Slovenia now. And you see everything written in Slovenian, but there is a bit of Italian about. I think I've seen some things written in Italian. Definitely some of the restaurants seem to almost say they're Italian. So, yeah, I wonder if there's many Italians left, whether they all left. I don't know, but look, this is really nice, isn't it? I mean, wow, look, just this little area here. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, wow. You know, some nice little picturesque parts. Don't know if I'm allowed down here, but <laughs> pretty sure I am. But yeah, I could imagine this in the sun. It would look pretty cool. Some nice, yeah, it's a nice little street out in the, I mean, obviously life's going on. Everybody's out having coffees and, you know, carrying on, locals, I'm guessing. 
Nice little art galleries, I think. Wow, look at that. That's well cool. I reckon Rachel would like that. So I don't know where cats with some sort of uh, <laughs> woman in the background there. Not sure what's going on there. It's a bit of a weird mix. <laughs> I think it's like almost like is it a brothel and a some cats there? And it is because like in the window, yeah, there's something going. Oh, sorry, blocking people. So um, definitely some uh, some stuff going on in that. Oh yeah, get a good picture of it. <laughs> and I think they're all like it actually, because look, the ones in the window, they've sort of done the same thing. Like it's very similar sort of. Uh, similar sort of theme to the pictures really obviously that's like the style of this particular artist I'm guessing all were done by the same people and there's some fruit and veggie and it looks pretty good it's like you know look at those strawberries they look very fresh they look very fresh and good quality look at that yeah yeah that's looking really good actually hang on yeah I'll just flip the camera back it looks really good, yeah, really nice, really nice fruit and veg here. So if you need any fruit and veg, this is the place to come by the looks of it. So yeah, sounds like it's very similar, the guy just said hello to me or good day. Sounds very similar to Bulgaria, so Dobrodan, Dobrodan instead of Dobroden maybe. But yeah, so I think that's it, I think we're going to be trying to find the... Um, try and find the car now um, but the, the little streets are very pretty and I think there's even more up this way um, probably not pretty if, you, if you're stuck in the middle of it like that <laughs> with the car there but um, I think we're gonna find our way now but look there's definitely more of these little streets so you're not you know there's definitely a lot to look around isn't there Rach little restaurant here I think or little cafe yeah, it looks like that's a fish restaurant, potentially. So, yeah, I think we're going to go and go back to the car now, aren't we? And, um, yeah, we need to get back to the car and head on to, to uh, Zagreb, really. So we're about to leave Isola, uh, just need to get some fuel before we go. Um, so remember we've got like a fuel problem <laughs> where it doesn't fuel very well. So we're in a mole garage um, and the price is 1527 a litre for diesel. So this is the basic diesel pump, it's just normal like the black one that you'd be used to. In France they were yellow. Um, but what we've got to try and do is sort of just try and fill it up nice and slow uh, just see if we can see the pump there so I am I am getting a bit of a knack of this now if I pull too hard it'll click off you see so basically I've got to go very careful or else I feel I start to get it kind of yeah doing that <laughs> so 
it's going to go very slowly um, and it does take a, quite a while and I've got to fill up full here this is this is basically the cheapest fuel that we've had actually on this trip so I'm just going to keep watching the meter and just I'll just show you how slow it's going so basically if you see that there you know you're not getting many liters going in very quickly so you yeah, know normally you'd be just like flying through so yeah it's a bit of a shame <laughs> that we're uh, getting this situation but we'll try and get it fixed in Bulgaria we can't really do much about it now um, but yeah it was the cheapest um, was the cheapest X5 in the UK well F15 X5 so um, you know we got it we got it a lot cheaper than uh, you normally pay so you're gonna expect to have issues really so which we have had so just now I've just got to keep trying to fill it it's probably thinking like why is it going so slowly probably because I've got camera in my hand but it's not to do with that it's um, because we can't go that fast because if we go too fast we won't get any fuel <laughs> the, the, the issue is that sometimes if it keeps clicking off you will end up with them thinking you finished and certainly in the automated ones you end up paying and then having to do it again and then paying again or having two or three fillings to explain to them I mean that happened in Doncaster where I had to go in and sort of say oh that was me twice basically I mean they kind of knew that but um, but yeah, this is, I think, the cheapest fuel we've had on the trip so far. So 1527 euros. So it's euros here. Um, it's definitely cheaper than um, France and, um, and Italy. So I think the most expensive was in Italy. We paid 2 euros 16 something. And um, it was mainly because I didn't want to get it too low down in the tank. I just thought, well, I've got a fill. But now it's like, yeah, I'm slow, slowly filling. Um, it's still going, but if I go too fast, it'll click off. And I think they're sort of wondering why it's taking so long. But try and up it a little bit. As you can see, it's slowly getting there. It's now 20 litres, but that's not a lot really in terms of this car probably want to get to like something like and I'm guessing it's about 80 litres 100 litres or something tank in this so um, I probably should have learned how big the tank was but yeah it's getting there it's just a very slow process uh, but we're just gonna fill it up full so so yeah I'm just gonna fill it up full so whatever it will be so yeah I won't make you watch any more of this and um, yeah, I'm just going to get this car filled up.
stop for something to eat. Um, we are at a McDonald's, which is uh, somewhere we usually stop. Um, we'd like to have stopped somewhere else, but easy. to be honest, this was just easy. Um, and it yeah. is the weather's really bad, so we don't want to be too much hassle. We knew they'd have a decent high chair and everything, for, and and there'd be toilets and everything. So yeah, Chloe, are you looking forward to your dindins? Yes. And, and Emily. And Emily. Yeah, are you looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to going to the house again. Yeah, when we get to the house. Is yeah, there but, petrol? But you're looking forward to your is dinner. Is there petrol here? There is, yeah. Rachel's gone to um, look at the menu, so see what see what they and if there are any specialities for like Slovenia. Um, I can see one uh, from here and it does look like there's some sort of specialities like chicken burgers. Um, so yeah, so we'll have a look at that. Um, but yeah, just nice to stop somewhere because I think on this trip we haven't really stopped anywhere to eat yet properly apart from in like an auto grill in Italy which we didn't even bother filming because it was... Well, we didn't end up getting in the restaurant part because apparently they don't stay open past three in Italy which is weird and... Um, it only really had like a quick you know slice of pizza kind of thing and um, we were in bad spirits really with everything going on with the weather in the car um, so um, is, what's that um, Emily? What, I'm having. what are you having? You're probably having chicken nuggets aren't you? Chicken nuggets with chips. Yeah chicken nuggets and chips your favourite isn't it? In, 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 we know, you know I like that. Yeah I know you like that yeah yeah, so we're just going to work it all out and then um, get something to eat because we're not really pressed for time today too much so you know, we can probably lose an hour or so. I love you. So yeah, we're going to crack Bye. on and see what we can order. There's a robot doing the food. <laughs> Hang on, yeah. So there's a robot doing the food, which is not that efficient because it just ran off with part of the food. <laughs> but there it goes. But yeah, I've never seen anything like that before, a robot delivering your food. Brilliant. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but unfortunately it was a little bit off because it tried to go when we still have one more tray to get um, but it's a good cool idea it came up and said hello here's your food kind of thing um what happened there oh it's a lid um yeah so chloe dropped a lid from my red bottle but no it's pretty that that sort of cheered us up a bit there because we were getting a bit annoyed because the um the toilets here are 50 cents ago and we don't have any 50 cent pieces and it doesn't take cards, so we can't really go to the toilet here, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, it's um, <laughs> pretty cool that it's got a robot. I wonder if I, I, I tried to get some footage of it. I don't know if it worked that well there, but um, but yeah. So anyway, food has arrived. Um, so there's the oh, hang on, sorry. There's the yeah. So the food has arrived. Um, I've got some sort of chicken thing actually this time. Have you got my chicken burger? Oh, let's have a look. So yeah, Emily's got uh, chicken nuggets that she loves. Um, and we have got, Rachel's got like a chicken wrap, honey mustard I think. I've got a bar, uh, chicken bacon grill thingy. Um, looks quite good. Just thought I'd try something a bit different. Something that you don't get in the UK but is available here. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, what does your wrap look like, Rach? I don't know yet. I haven't got it, haven't got it open yet. <laughs> Chloe's 
basically you can I think you can add a toy I added toy which cost more money um, but you do look like you get something as well which is like some cards or something as well so that's pretty good so chicken wrap um, looks pretty good yeah it looks really good doesn't it so anyway we just wanted to get something to eat really uh, but yeah we didn't expect a robot to uh, <laughs> deliver it to us well and then deliver it uh, deliver it and then try and steal it yeah no the robot just works itself only i don't know what's going on anyway i wonder if we'll see it going past us again i don't know i didn't i did wonder what these things were over there but saw them at the counter but pretty cool anyway right we're going to eat this, I think. Just left the McDonald's with the mad robots that um, serve your food to you, which is pretty cool. Although they do kind of try and drive away pretty quickly, which is a bit of a worry. <laughs> we, we nearly dropped a few things, didn't we? <laughs> um, yeah, it would have been good that if it just waited there like maybe a minute and then drove off again. But it was a novelty. I've never seen anything like that before. Anyway, we are now in our first traffic jam, actually, of the... Um, of the trip so we're trying to go on the turn off there's kind of like a road that's split in I think one goes around Ljubljana to the left and one sort of goes away from it um, to the right which is the A2 so we're joining the A2 I think we've been on the A1 um, and now we're trying to sort of yeah basically it's a bit of big traffic jam the same would be there about five o'clock um, this section is red I think it's where it's merging onto the main road uh, but yeah, but this is our first traffic jam, amazingly. And we've been driving since, you know, Saturday. We didn't have one in the UK particularly. Um, did we have any traffic jams in the UK? I don't think no, we did. I don't think we did. Not really. Nothing that wasn't moving. This is like pretty slow, like almost stopping all the time. So yeah, so we're just we're just like getting through this and. Um, but I mean, it could have been worse. We, last time we drove through Italy, we just completely gridlocked throughout the whole place, apart from until it got dark, and then we didn't really see anything. And it was, you know, we got there like one, two in the morning or something like that to our destination. So hopefully, nothing like that happens. It doesn't look like that's what's going on. So I think it's just merging further up. But uh, yeah, we just. Uh, we're just now waiting to get through this and hopefully around about 5 p.m. maybe a bit after now we will be in Zagreb here our next apartment
I'm gonna have to basically get out of the car and go and do do the toll because it's only Emily on that side of the car which is not gonna be very good um, she's not gonna be able to get out and do it so I'm going to be getting out of the car and doing a uh, doing a piage thing which is basically a toll thing they all seem to be called piages even near here all the way through France Italy everywhere so I'm gonna get out and go and do that and then I'm gonna get back in and then we'll drive on and it's saying that it's 90 cents just went and did that and um, now I'm uh, gonna crack back on <laughs> but yeah I mean you probably didn't we didn't start we didn't show it in any um, you didn't really see it in the other uh, places we were at but yeah that happened all the way through Italy all the way through France <laughs> and um, Slovenia was a vignette which you know is, is actually cheaper I think I mean, a lot of these tolls, they kind of add up. So going across France, we must have spent 60 odd euros, 65 euros, something like that. It cost to get right across France um, into Switzerland. Switzerland, we stupidly bought a vignette when I don't think we needed one. So we never went on any highways. So we paid 40 uh, Swiss francs, which around about 36 pounds. Maybe, yeah, around about that. Um, and then when we went into um, France again we paid some tolls there wasn't many I don't think up until the Italian border uh, when we went through the Mont Blanc tunnel we paid around um, 54 euros to go through there which we didn't realize when we left Switzerland because we weren't planning to go that route and then in Italy we probably spent similar to France we probably spent about you know getting on for 70 uh, pounds or 70 euros maybe going across the whole of um, Italy which was quite you know we went quite a way through and yeah and so Slovenia I think I paid about 14 pounds for this uh, or maybe 16 I can't, I can't remember exactly I mean I'll put it up on screen but uh, yeah we paid uh, paid that online and got it all electronically before we left so you give them your number plate and what have you and they know, you know, they know that, you know, you bought a vignette. So, yeah, so we didn't need to do any tolls or anything in Slovenia. Uh, roads are a bit bumpy here for how much you're paying for a toll road. Um, yeah, and the diesel looks like it's €1.45. So it's actually cheaper than here back in Slovenia, which is 150 something. So, yeah. Um, moving on towards our grab now unfortunately the roads are a bit bumpy <laughs> but yeah we're making our way and hopefully we'll be in Zagreb in 45 minutes um, and it's interesting we're taking the turn off in 35 kilometers which is towards Budapest um, so probably when we finish in Zagreb we'll be heading into Hungary with that might be where we go back to we might be going back to that turn off I guess uh, but yeah, we're on our way, um, but the amazing thing is that we don't have any rain at the moment. I mean, I don't think there's even spits of rain, so yeah, this is the first sort of clear period since we were in France and Geneva. I think pretty much all the way through Italy, uh, all the way in Slovenia, we had rain all the time, so yeah it's nice to be back in sort of even just cloudy conditions <laughs> let's hope the Zagreb is the same when we get there we, we, we believe it's going to rain later tonight um, but just enough of a respite to get stuff out of the car would be good but yeah we're on our way and um, we're not far from Zagreb
have arrived in Zagreb and we are at the apartment that we booked for two nights so we've got a bit of a rest day and we should hopefully be able to see Zagreb if it doesn't rain too badly although we managed to see Ezele even when it rained a bit um, it's pretty good um, we've got this sort of um, sort of landing welcome area sort of thing um, it's kind of like double doors to get in but you've got like a mat somewhere to put your shoes and stuff it's quite nice and tiled out here the only downside so far is the road is very very narrow um, our car is sort of just at the bottom of the shot there um, it, <laughs> I just saw a garbage truck go down the road so a rubbish truck went down and um, it literally just got past our car but we're in as far as we can get it really um, yeah, so the apartment has got a TV, fire sticks all working because it's normal TV. It's not like a hotel TV or anything, so it's not going to be difficult to connect it up. Um, decor's really nice. Got like kind of a little bonsai tree up there, which Rachel really loves and wants to get one. <laughs> Don't think it's a real one, no. um, but it's uh, really nice. That's really cool. Uh, some nice kind of uh, pictures and... Um, you know, there's a few things up there that we put there, like the remote stop Chloe getting them. But yeah, Fire TV all worked. Nice sort of like sofa here that you can sit on and watch the TV. So pretty good. I mean, I'm probably going to be sleeping on that tonight. And all the girls are going to be sleeping in the bed in the bedroom, which I'll show you in a second. Um, we, th this isn't a two bedroom apartment. There's just one. There is a cot for Chloe, but probably no hope of getting her to actually stay in it. Right, so there's the sofa and the entrance. It's like a sliding door with a front door out here. So if you walk out, so you can see it's kind of like a landing area or like, you know, an area to the front door. Um, it's really good, basically. There's like, um, you know, we're on the first floor, but I like these double doors. And I think it's quite cool and sort of quirky, this little apartment, although they do need a bigger street outside, but I'm guessing they've kind of built as many as they could in the area, you know, sold sold as much of the land as possible. Um, I think we're on the outskirts as our grab. Anyway, so nice sofa, that's our bag there. I was just setting up all the charging for devices and what have you. Um, you get a kitchen, obviously you need things like that in an Airbnb style place, although we booked this on booking.com. Um, you get a dining table, um, so this is quite cool. Uh, just recenter the camera there. Uh, yeah, and like a nice little kind of archway through. Got a nice table and chairs. You know, there's a lot of windows as well in the place. So it's very airy and light. Um, you got, yeah, got radiators. So it's like central heating, um, which I don't think we had in Isla. I think that was, uh, that was all um, electric or air conditioning, which is fine. I guess it gets hotter there in the summer. Uh, yeah, so you've got like a, an oven, um, looks like, to me like an electric oven with a gla gas hob, um, toaster and everything, microwave, we didn't have one of them in Isla either, fridge, where we have brought the beers from Italy uh, through Isla to here, so we have got those in there, uh, which you need when you've got kids. Um, so yeah, um, you've got a sink. I don't think there's anything like dishwasher or anything in this one. Uh, no, it's just bins under there, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, we're just sort of like up on the first floor. The stairs are out there. Don't know if you'll make that out properly, um, but just re just center the camera so you can sort of see a bit out there. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, right, we've got a bathroom here so the bathroom is in through the beside the kitchen um and that has got a that has got a washing machine here and a boiler so you've got gas guessing that's the gas central heating um and also for the uh for the shower uh, this is pretty good because in isla we didn't have the shower sort of like properly you know there wasn't a thing to hold up the shower nozzle uh, but there is here, so that's really nice. Um, also a bath, so Emily and Chloe can have a bath because they prefer baths. Um, there is a sink. Um, it's one of those sort of little sinks. If I just recenter there, mirror. 
You don't get me with it. Um, there's a mirror and then, yeah, there's a sink and some towels and stuff. It's very nice. And to be honest, the owners are really friendly. Yep, three toilet rolls in there, although some have been used. Um, we do have a spare one, actually, we bought just in case because, um, yeah, we weren't sure. You never know with some places. Yeah, it all looks good. Um, so you've got a hairdryer there as well. We've got one with us, but there's a spare one. I'm guessing these are just additional drawers, maybe some cleaning things. No, it's nothing really. It's just a wash basket, I think. So I guess if you're staying for longer, and the thing is a lot of people do stay in these places for longer, for like a week or something, to kind of make sense. Um, yeah, towel rail. And then you do need a little bin as well down there. Then you do need to... Um, you know, you do need things like washing machines, washing facilities, all that kind of stuff is very important. Yeah, cool little clock up there as well. That looks all right, doesn't it? It's like a nice little clock. Uh, I think that's on the right time as well. Yeah, I think we are about, uh, are we about half past? No, yeah, we're about, no, it's not the right time. We're, we're 10 to 6 at the moment, so neither is the Fire TV, if you can see the time on that. Um, right, so into here. So it's very well de decorated. I think Isola was more sort of functional. Yeah. This is quite decorated. Um, this is the bedroom. Um, we've got a cot here, which they put some nice little toys in and everything. That was like a requested thing, so I don't know if it's here all the time. But it just said, you know, we can do a cot. Um, and I just checked the box for a cot, basically. Um, so I guess they supplied that. Um, you don't get Emily with it either, but she's there. Some nice artwork on the wall, and there is a there is um, some curtains which are like blackout style curtains as well. So I'm guessing there's a window behind that, and it would be light if you wanted it to be. And um, there is a cupboard here. Um, yep, I think it mostly works. <laughs> it's got some hangers and stuff. That's all our stuff in there below. So not what you would get um i think there was some additional um yeah some bedding in yeah there. some bedding for the for the yeah so there's additional bedding probably for the yeah and an iron so that's good yeah additional bedding and that's all for um for the for the bed for the the sofa bed i think which is what i'll be staying on i don't know if it's a proper sofa bed or if it's just a bed but um and then you've got like I think cable TV or some sort of digital TV here, um, which you're getting as part of it. I'll just recenter. Yeah, so you've got a, I've got a, um, you've got a TV in this room as well. So TV as well as, um, as, uh, as, as in the living room as well. Central heating radiator here. Central heating radiator. And then, there's a door out here which leads out to like a cool like balcony area. Just turn it again. Um, and I think there's a light for it as well. Yeah, that turns on a light out here. You probably wouldn't pick that up, but it definitely came on. And then you've got some like tables and chairs out here. It's pretty good. Um, it's quite nice. Actually, it's just nice to be somewhere that's dry at the moment. It looks like it could rain. But yeah, you've got some tables and chairs with an ashtray and stuff, like a benchy style chair, and it's really nice. And then you haven't got like a massive view or anything, but you have got somewhere to sit outside, you know, if it was warm in the evening and stuff, and you can probably see over to other people's houses. Uh, but it's fine, you know, it's, it's just for the nice summer sort of evening, isn't it, if you want to sit outside. It's a little bit cold, we're only about sort of 10 to 11 degrees today here. Um, but yeah, they've, they they did say you can use the central heating and stuff, so, you know, it should all be warm in here. Um, it feels warm at the moment, so they've obviously turned it on and set it all. But yeah, really, really good. I don't think there's anything else to show, really. Oh, there's another radiator in here, so this is like the main radiator. Again, massive radiator, so going to be quite warm in here. Set to five. So I'm guessing you just got to turn the thermostat to a certain temperature and away you go. And then that keeps temperature to what you want. At the moment it's just turned off by the looks of it, but we can obviously turn that up if we want. Um, yeah, so decent place really. Um, 
and um yeah we're, we're get we're here for two nights so oh and air conditioning so if you needed to you know in the summer if it got pretty hot when you're not going to be having the heating on you can and i think that's what they're using i think that's set to 19 maybe so i think they've turned off the air i think they've turned off the um yes yeah, so you have a look on the remote there i think they've turned off the uh, the air condition. I think they've turned off the heating and put the air conditioning on because it is open. So I think that means it's probably doing something, but I'm not sure. It may just be open. Yeah, so pretty good. Pretty happy with the place. And um, basically we're here for two nights now. So yeah, hopefully we'll see a bit of Zagreb and hopefully the weather will be a bit better. I mean, it is looking like it could rain at the moment. It is scheduled to rain around about six o'clock, but it, it's not quite six o'clock yet and it hasn't um, rained yet, but and it was quite nice to be able to get everything out of the car and everything really easily. So that was good. The only thing was it's very tight <laughs> and I was a bit nervous when that garbage truck went down the road and I'm quite nervous that there's kids outside the car <laughs> playing out there as well, but they're not really doing anything, I don't think. Um, so that's good. Yeah, it's not the, uh, it's a bit tight, but Croatians seem to be able to kind of fly up and down the road without any issue. Anyway, yeah, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the car will be right out there. It looks like a quite nice area. I think a lot of these are, are like kind of, you know, Airbnb apartment type places by the looks of it. So, um, you know, there was that kind of a family staying next door to us and they... I think somebody delivered something to them and then went again. And I think they were like, oh, yeah, because we needed a park in the same space as that guy had gone into. And he's like, oh, he's going in a minute. <laughs> and um, I think, you know, they were they were speaking in a different language, I think. And um, I don't know. They were all having fun out there. So I think they're probably on a trip as well. So, yeah, nice place. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Basically, we're just looking forward to having a couple of days where we don't have to get in the car, really. Well, another day, basically, where we don't have to get in the car, so a spare day without traveling. And, um, yeah, should be pretty good, really. So, so, yeah, I think that's it for this place. <laughs>